It's the highest delinquency rate we've seen in about 10 years. Now let's talk about delinquencies. A delinquency is when you're behind on your payments, maybe 30 days late, 60 days late or more, the delinquency rate stayed steady at 2.93%. This might sound stable, but here is the kicker. It's the highest delinquency rate we've seen in about 10 years. So while things aren't getting worse right now, they're definitely not getting better either. Now, Let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture of the household debt in America. Credit cards and auto loan delinquencies have leveled off, which is good. But student loans, that's a whole different story. Student loan delinquencies have absolutely exploded, jumping from less than 1% at the end of 2024 to about 13% in the second quarter of 2025. That's a massive increase in just a few months. So when you put it all together, what we're seeing is that a lot of households are stretched thin. And here's one of the biggest reasons why. Interest rates. Credit card APRs are at the highest levels in decades. We're talking 20% or higher for many people. That means if you're carrying a balance, you're paying way more in interest than you ever have before. Combine that with record high household debt and you can see why so many people are struggling to keep up. Even if you're making your minimum payments, it feels like you're not making a dent in your balance.